This is Maxim. These are uh, approximately 47 hours after he wasn't able to walk and his eyes were twitching. He showed remarkable improvement. His eyes have slowed down with the uh, oscillating or twitching or whatever you call it. We took him to the vets, gave him something for an ear infection, even though I don't think that was it. Um, he was diagnosed as possible vestibular syndrome. You can see how he's leaning to the left a bit. He can hardly walk right now, but he is better than yesterday. We couldn't walk at all. He's 14. He'll be 15 soon. So it is an older doggy disease. And he's getting better. Like I said, I don't know if it's an ear infection. Definitely, I don't think it is a stroke. So I think it was the vestibular, vestibular, vestibular disease. And he's walking a lot better today. This is, like I said, day two. So it takes about 72 hours or longer for him to get better. And totally better takes up to three weeks. But it's marked improvement. We're, we're much happier than we were yesterday when we thought he was passing away. He still leans to the left. He wobbles a lot when he walks. He uh, looks at you with a tilted head. So uh, if your dog shows these symptoms of tilting his head to the left and his eyes are oscillating back and forth and he can't walk, he's all wobbly. Um, don't lose hope. He could be just uh, having this vestibular disease and uh, they do get better from it. What's up, Maxie? How you doing, bud? Huh? Look at, he's standing by himself. Yep. His eyes are a lot better. I mean, he couldn't walk at all. He would, he could, he would get up and fall, try to, try to stand up and fall, try to, try to get up and fall constantly. Look Wonderful. Look at that. I know it's awesome. Okay. So if your your dog gets these symptoms, take them to the vet. They'll, they'll, uh, they'll fix them up hopefully. Um, as long as you don't have a stroke. If it is a stroke, I don't really know. I think it's a different situation, but it, this could be an ear infection or uh, a nerve that has enlarged. So I think Maxie had the nerve that was inflamed, and uh, he's getting better.